Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be all about how you can use the dev tools in Chrome to run JavaScript in the JavaScript console. You can access it in the same way that you do to inspect your HTML. You can do it in a variety of different ways. You can do view developer uh, JavaScript console instead of developer tools, which um, command option I we were doing, command option J will you the JavaScript console. You can right click, inspect, and then come over here to the console. So there's a bunch of different ways you can get to it. But, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear it. Just put it on like that. So that way we don't have to look at all the error messages. So why would we use this? What's the purpose of this console? One use is to very quickly and easily test code to see if we've written it correctly and see what it does on these pages. Um, the Another good way to use it is what I'm doing right now is demonstrating, is to show your code to other people. So if you remember, JavaScript is the verbs of the web. It is what makes your pages interactive, it's what makes things move around, it's what does things on the page for the most part. So to give you an example, I'm going to write a real quick program. And now we have it. And you can see that this is every 100 milliseconds is adding 5 to the width of the image right there. So it's just going to continue getting bigger forever and ever and ever. And that's what JavaScript did. We can do other things with JavaScript such as giving information to the user. We can kind of alert the user that, hey, something's up. So we can do alert something's up. UP if I could spell. There we go, and it alerts, it pauses, you'll notice it pauses the website and gives us this little pop-up with whatever we put in there. So this is um, how you can use the Chrome Devs tools and you can actually use those to modify the web pages you're on and to find information about those web pages and test your code. Next time we'll get into a little bit more of the, the weeds in JavaScript and we'll get started. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.